Well, July is Sun Safety Awareness Month, and the Nebraska Cancer Coalition is working to increase awareness of sun safety and skin cancer. We are joined today by Kathy Murphy, a rural nurse practitioner in Red Cloud with the Webster County Community Hospital. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States, with melanoma of the skin being the fifth most common cancer in Nebraska. The good news is that early detection of skin cancer can save lives. And Kathy, why is early detection of melanoma so important? Oh my, it is very important because the sooner we diagnose, the sooner we can get treatment going and the higher survival rate uh, goes is directly correlated with that. What can Nebraskans do to help with early detection of melanoma? Well, I am a big proponent of doing uh, screenings. And so that may include you going to your family practice provider and having a yearly checkup and, of course, including the skin uh, as part of that screening. But also uh, we have some screenings available throughout the state and uh, and it uh, would be a great idea to attend one of those if you don't uh, see your uh, primary care uh, yearly for a a skin check. What all goes through a, a skin check? What What is that whole process like? Well, so if you go to a dermatologist, they usually look you over from head to toe. In some of our screenings, we mainly focus on the areas where the sun hits. So, of course, your face, your ears, your uh, neck, your uh, upper back, your uh, arms, and your legs. Uh, but if you go in for to uh, see your primary care, they may have you kind of disrobe and uh, look all over because melanoma can hide anywhere. And so it's not always just the sun exposure, but um, so it's good to check everywhere. What are some of the uh, factors for a higher risk of skin cancer? Well, if... Uh, if you're one of the Nebraskans or somebody here in the United States that has light skin, you have a uh, uh, light colored complexion, your uh, skin freckles easily, you have uh, light colored hair and uh, like blue and green eyes, I think those are some of the things that put you at a little bit higher risk. And then, of course, we always promote uh, trying to decrease that risk by uh, using sunscreen, hats, uh, good cover for uh, your arms and legs when you're out in the sun, and uh, also avoiding being in the sun from uh, when it's the hottest from like 10 a.m. to about 4 p.m. And you kind of led into it. Uh, obviously, you, you want to try to be safe uh, when you're going out into the sun. And so uh, what are some of those main habits uh, other than the ones you mentioned that people can do to, to be safe when they're going outside? Well, we are big proponents of sunscreen, and there's only about 30% of people really do a lot to prevent uh, sun damage. And so I'm always startled by that because I see a lot of people putting sunscreen on. But one of the problems is, is that you can apply it, but if you don't reapply it while you're out there, then it loses its effectiveness. And so reapplying sunscreen, making sure it's at least 15% or a 15 SPF, or higher. And if you're going to be out for an extended amount of time, we usually recommend a, a 30 SPF uh, or higher to um, be applied every couple of hours. Or if you happen to be in the water, the, the water is going to decrease that effectiveness. So then when you get out of the water, you need to reapply. Or if you're sweating and that kind of thing, you need to reapply then too. Kathy, is there any other information that you think uh, would be good for Nebraskans to know just about being safe uh, to, to prevent skin cancer? Well, I think all of us have to take responsibility for our own health care, and we want to uh, encourage everyone to think of, uh, of skin care as part of their overall wellness. So we want you to uh, think about it before you're going to the lake, before you're going out in the sun to even uh, do your yard work. If you're just going outside for a few hours, all of those are times when you just really need to use uh, prevention. And also, if you're uh, out and about, like around Husker Harvest Days, we have skin screenings all three days there. And at um, South Heartland District Health, we're doing some skin screenings at the local golf courses. And so you might run into us there um, wanting to give you a skin screen. Kathy, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for this information. 
Well, you are welcome. Thank you.